Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about seven Instagram scams to avoid. And I decided to make this video because I have a few friends on Instagram that I chat to quite a bit and they're kind of trying to become influencers. Like I feel like a lot of people want to do things online these days and make money online because why wouldn't you want to do that? But the other day I got a question from one of these friends and she was asking me um, about some of these brand collaborations. She got a DM from a brand from my brand and she was asking if it's real, if it's a scam. And I feel like a lot of people struggle with this, especially in the beginning, to know if a brand who's approaching you is actually a real one or if it's just a scam. So that conversation kind of sparked this idea in me to create this video because I just don't want people to fall for those scams. So I'm going to share with you today seven scams that you really should avoid on Instagram. And you should know if you get DMs or emails like this, they are most likely spam and you can just ignore them because they're not gonna do you any favors or they might get you in trouble. So let's go ahead and get started with these scams. So number one, this is not a brand one, but this is a DM that you get from people saying that you want a giveaway and then they usually have a link for you to click or something like that or they say go in my bio and click this link don't do that when someone hosts a giveaway on their account they will never create a second account to let you know that you've won the giveaway they will always announce it on their main one because why would they create a second one so if you get a dm like that always go go to that profile always check that it's that main account that real person that you entered the giveaway um, like on their account. So if it's a scammy account, it looks fake, it looks like it's got zero followers maybe, or it doesn't really have any other content, um, don't just ignore that message. Don't click on any links. So giveaway winners will always be announced by that main account. So just be aware of this because it's a scam that's been going around and it's becoming so much more frequent these days. Then number two, and this is the thing my friend was asking about is, she got a DM from an Amazon seller apparently, and they were asking, for her to purchase a product from their Amazon shop and um, to leave a review and then they will refund her. So basically you would get a free product in return for that review. Now obviously this is a no-no, don't do that because most likely it is a scam and I will tell you right now brand deals, like real brand deals, even if it's for gifted products, so products that you get for free, they will never ask you to pay for anything. They will gift you the free product if they want to and if you want to create um, content for them with that free product but they will never ask you to pay something so this thing you with the amazon seller where you review and then you get the refund this is just a no-no don't do that it's most likely spam and it's just such a disservice to you and your followers as well then number three this is something that i get a lot as well is that you get a dm from a brand saying become our brand ambassador and basically what you get from this kind of collaboration or just becoming this ambassador for this brand is you get a discount code and that's it so you get a discount code where you buy their products and then you promote them for free um, create content for them and all of this and then you are just their ambassador and usually they will say oh but we have this affiliate program so you can earn money that way let me tell you no this is not you becoming a brand ambassador this is just you buying their products that's as simple as that there's nothing wrong with buying products on a discount code but i feel like if they kind of constrain you to create content for them and do all of these things um, on top of just basically buying a product I wouldn't do that personally. So yeah, again, that's not you being a brand ambassador, that's just you getting a discount and buying their products, basically. The next type of scam that's also really frequent is when brands approach you and they say, we'll give you a free product in return for content, but you have to pay for delivery only. So they will usually kind of mask this as basically you paying for the product because the delivery will be a bit higher than it would normally be. So again, if you have to pay for something like this, it's usually a scam. It's not something legit and um, the products might not be good quality because a brand who does these things like have you pay for delivery or have you just have a discount on their products they're not really that trustworthy and quality brand most of the time so um, I wouldn't get involved with a brand like that again gifted campaigns work like this you get a free product completely free and you create content for them. Then number five is a fake brand account. So they might have an account that looks similar to the main account, like to a brand that's well known, but their username is slightly different. And they say in their DM, oh, go check out our main account and we are just approaching you on behalf of them. I would never respond to a DM like that because it doesn't seem trustworthy to me. Why would they create a separate account to contact you? And I will tell you right now, all the big brands that I've worked with, they have never approached me from a second like special account. They were always approaching me from the 
that main one even if it had a lot of followers and it seemed like they might be you know super busy it's not like that brand that CEO sits down to DM everybody they have people like social media managers who do that so yeah I would never trust a message from a separate like account like that only the main one this next one is something that I've been getting a lot in the past month or so and I've been getting this through my email actually so not necessarily the DMs but I'm getting emails from really big brands I mean uh, it's all obviously fake because the emails are just so weird it's not even spelled right it just doesn't look professional at all but they're from brands like nike or zara or you know big brands that you would know um and the emails go something like this oh we'll pay you a thousand or two thousand dollars for this um instagram post or something like that so, so the fact that a brand like that a big brand approaches you and just kind of blurts out a um a rate like that that's just that's not how it works. Most of the time when a big brand approaches you, they will ask you for your rate. They won't say a rate like that. Um, and especially when it's such a big number and it's such a random rate, like I'm not saying you couldn't earn that much. You could definitely earn that much from Instagram or YouTube, but brands don't approach you like that. <laughs> brands will just ask you for stats. They will ask you for your rates, for what's included in that rate, because that rate, it's just so random, isn't it? Like they, they're not even saying, what kind of content how many deliverables anything like that so and regardless whenever you get an email from a brand always check what their email looks like because most of the time it won't be nike.com it will be just a really weird email that's not even <laughs> from the real brand and then lastly this is not brand related but i really wanted to include this because i'm seeing it so much still on instagram and that is engagement loops and follow loops now this is not a scam where they're trying to get your info to i don't know get your bank details or anything like that but it is a scam in the sense that um, they will just inflate your numbers so your follower count your maybe your likes for a certain post but it will really damage your account in the long run so if you're trying to be in this for real like to really grow to really make an income from this stay away from engagement loops and follow loops because the thing about these is that it will kind of make you feel really good because you will get this influx of I don't know 200 300 followers in one day or something like that on that day that you are in the engagement loop and then what will happen is that those followers they do not care about you or your content and i'm not saying this in a mean way this is just the way it is the people who followed you from that are just people who are trying to grow their accounts so they won't be interested in your account anyway what happens most of the time with accounts like this who are in engagement loops or follow loops is throughout the next few weeks or months they will have a constant decrease and in, in their follower count so they will have a lot of unfollows because people that's what they do after they are in these follow loops they will just go and unfollow after a while um so it's just really pointless i feel like it's such a waste of time because being in these engagement loops you basically have to go on all of these accounts and follow and comment and like that's a lot of time that you could be spending instead creating quality content pitching to brands to work with and just doing something more productive with your time to be honest so yeah, i do hope this found this helpful give it a thumbs up if you did and maybe share it with another influencer so that they don't fall for any of these scams either and do subscribe for this channel for more instagram tips and social media tips and i hope you're having a good day and i'll see you in my next one bye guys